Hi, it's Christian. Welcome back to these Ableton tutorials. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can control ProPresenter um, using Ableton Live. In a previous video, we looked at how we can load in a lyric video and how we can use that to guide our congregation through arrangement. But in this video, we're going to take it a little bit further and we're going to have a look at how we can actually control each individual element of ProPresenter using MIDI notes and how we can export them. So it's a little bit more advanced than previous tutorials, so take your time with this one, but if you get the basics of this, the possibilities are really endless. So the first thing we're going to do is load up our track, and I've got 10,000 reasons already opened. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this on a Mac, um, firstly. Now, ProPresenter is really popular presentation software that's used in lots of churches. It is fantastic on a Mac platform and they've released a MIDI module um, that allows you to control it and I believe that's only available for Mac at the moment. You can use it on a PC um, to do a similar thing without the MIDI module using a translator such as Bones um, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on as we go on. I'm using a Mac so the first thing I need to do is I need to config configure my audio MIDI setup and that's a program that hides in your um, a utilities folder and the easiest way to find this is to come up here and type in MIDI and this exists on every Mac as standard so I'm going to click into that one and sometimes it doesn't quite open so you need to go to window and show MIDI um, and you can see I've got two options here I've got IAC driver and I've got network driver now IAC driver is Apple's inbuilt MIDI driver that takes MIDI from one program and routes it to another program so you can use this to take a MIDI note out of Ableton Live and into ProPresenter or a different program. Network is exactly the same, but it takes MIDI out of, let's say, Ableton Live and routes it over a network, either via a cable, LAN cable or via um, Wi-Fi to another computer. So for this demo, I'm going to do it on the same computer, so I'm going to use the IAC driver. So I'm going to click into there. Firstly, you need to make sure that this device is online, and then you need to add a port. Now, I'm already using port 1 and 2 for something different, so I'm going to add port 3. You could use whichever available port you've got. Back out of here, if you're doing it over a network, click into network. You would look at the other computers available on your same Wi-Fi and click connect, and then once you've got a connection, you can continue in the same way. Let's back out of the MIDI setup. Okay, so the next thing to do is to go into ProPresenter. So um, let me open up my copy of ProPresenter. I'm running a demo version at the moment on this computer, so let's click Demo. You can see that I've got 10,000 reasons opened. Now the great thing with Ableton Live, um, sorry, with ProPresenter, is it allows you to demo modules. So you can actually demo modules ahead of time before you actually purchase them. So let's do exactly that. Let's go to Preferences. Let's go along to Modules. And let's demo the MIDI module without buying it. So rather than buying it here, uh, there, we're going to click on Demo. And once we click that, we're going to have some options along here. So let's go to Communication, and we're going to add a new device, and we're going to add MIDI. So Communication, Add MIDI, and we can call it whatever we like. We're going to leave these two the same, and we're going to tell it to look for it on IAC Bus 3. Now, I, uh, there's Bus 1, Bus 2. KP MacBook is the network one, so if we were doing it over a network, we'd select that one. Because it's on the same computer, IAC bus 3. Save and connect. Now ProPresenter is now ready and configured to look out for MIDI notes coming in on that port. But we need to tell it which MIDI notes to recognise. So we're going to click into MIDI setup. And here you can actually type in the notes that are going to correspond to the various controls. Now to make this a little bit easier for you, uh, we've got a a template which is ready to be downloaded from worshipbackinband.com so all you need to do is hit zero hit autofill and click OK then you can back out of here and come back into ProPresenter now we're going to go to Ableton Live and we're going to tell Ableton Live when to send the MIDI notes so to do that I hope you're following this so far to do that what we're going to do first is we're going to create a MIDI track so we're going to create and we're going to come down here and select MIDI track now, we need to tell this MIDI track what output it's going to use and which network it's going to send. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to Preferences and MIDI. And you can see this IAC bus 3. We're going to click Track On on the output. And that's going to allow us to send the MIDI notes out on the IAC bus 3 network. We're going to click Close. And we're going to come down here and select the IAC bus 3. And now we're ready to go. 
So let's create that timeline that's going to control ProPresenter then. So I'm going to come down here and open up my file browser. And in this folder here, I've got uh, the template which I've downloaded from worshipbackinband.com, which is called MIDI Cues for ProPresenter. If I click the drop down arrow, um, there's an ALS file. And rather than clicking it, I'm going to click the drop down arrow again. You can see here that I've got all the commands which match the ones that we saw in ProPresenter earlier. And it's just a case now of dragging them over to where I want them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a clear slide. So just before the intro, I'm going to put in a clear slide. So whatever's on the screen on ProPresenter will just fade to whatever the current background is. Then I want to change the background. So I'm going to select image video and I want image video number two from my playlist. And I'm going to put that in on the intro. Now, if I open up this one here that says select slide, you can see that they're numbered. And if I go back into ProPresenter, you'll see that these are also numbered. So they correspond exactly the same. So number one is actually bless the Lord or my soul. Number two is the verse. Number three is the chorus again. And I've got them very roughly in the right order. So let me go back to Ableton Live and let's say slide one. And I'm going to put it in on the half bar before the chorus. Slide two is the verse. And again, half bar before the verse. Scroll along. And then I'm going to put slide one in again on that half bar there. Um, so that's great. That's pretty much all that I need to do. I can go through the song. I can go through adding in if I want videos to trigger off, if I want timers to trigger off, I can add them in. And I can have multiple MIDI um, tracks. So I could add another MIDI track underneath. And as long as I select the output to the same, so if I open this one up, as long as I put the output to ISE Driver Bus 3, I can do exactly the same. Put the input to nothing. Uh, no input, and then you'll make sure that you're not going to get any uh, what's called MIDI feedback, where it's picking up the wrong MIDI notes and putting them through the right way. Um, so I could just create as many MIDI tracks as I wanted. I could have this one to change the background slides, this one to change the slides. Like I said, the um, possibilities are pretty endless, but this is just a basic demo. So let's close that one down, let's reset the track, um, and let's play that and go and have a look at it in ProPresenter. So Three, click play four, and go to ProPresenter. This has gone black. As the intro started, it loaded up my background. And I currently got screen three selected, but as we hit the chorus, it should jump to screen one and display it on screen. Here we go, there we go, perfect. And if I chosen videos, it could have triggered off sample videos in the background or anything. Like I said, the possibilities are really endless with this. Let's see what it does when we get to the verse. Back to piano. The sun comes up. Two, three, four. Perfect. Let's go back to Ableton. Great, so I could work my way through the song, adding in the slides exactly where I needed them. Um, so really clever way of, of just doing that. Um, quick kind of uh, note here, because these are playing off the half bar before the verse, they look great when uh, you're working it through. If I jump back to verse and it hit this marker, it wouldn't actually play that slide. So it might be worth just putting in a, that note again to repeat it. It's not going to make any difference when it goes through ProPresenter because that slide will have already been displayed. But it means if I jump back to that marker, it will also make sure that it's nice and in time and comes up when I'm jumping around. Have a play around with that, make that work the way you want to. Okay, one final thing to show you, if you are running a setup and you don't have that MIDI module um, from ProPresenter, uh, either because you haven't bought it or because you're using a PC, there are other ways of doing this. The Ableton side stays exactly the same way, so you're sending out notes um, via exactly the same network. What we would actually do though is we would just make sure that we put a translator, a piece of software that sits between Ableton and ProPresenter that does the job of translating MIDI notes into keyboard keystrokes. Uh, the one that I use or have used to do this is a program called Bones, B-O-N-E-S MIDI Translator Pro. Um, and I won't go into the ins and outs of this, but it's very straightforward. Um, here you can see I've got chord charts. So I use MIDI notes coming out of Ableton um, to change pages on a PDF that sits on another screen on the front so we don't have music stands. And I do it exactly this way. If we open up Savory the World, uh, I have told it what MIDI note to receive. And to do that, I simply uh, click Capture MIDI, I play Ableton, and then it plays that note. I've told it what port to look at, so I'm using the IAC bus 2, or it could be the bus 3. And then finally, I tell it what the outgoing 
stroke is. So I option command G, one four return. If you were using Pro Presenter, it would be the down arrow. Or you might set a hot key so that it would trigger, it would press K to trigger off that slide or that video. So you can get around it by using a translator program. Uh, Bones is a paid for one. There are some free ones out there as well. Um, but it's just a case of getting your software together, having a bit of a play and see what you can come up with. But if you're on a Mac and using Ableton and Pro Presenter, then that little investment into the MIDI module is a fantastic investment and can really tidy up your shows. You can use the same technology coming out of Ableton Live to control lighting rigs, um, to send MIDI in all kinds of different directions. It really is endless. Uh, it's just a case of having a play with routing these MIDI notes in different directions. So I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, get in touch. Um, and just go for it. Be creative and see how you can enhance your worship experiences together. Take care. God bless.